Hello, thank you for joining me today watching Esther from Stampin' Star Creations. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the UK. Today I wanted to share with you um, how to make these dividers for your planner or your Filofax. Um, this particular one is a Webster's page planner and obviously you might have to um, change your dimensions depending on what planner you've got yourself. So this was inspired by Kathy Otter King from YouTube and she did a similar design with um, mini file folders so that's where I got this idea from. Um, so I just got the last few months to do and I've already gone ahead and cut out some mint macaron cardstock. This measures four and one eighth by six and three quarters for this particular um, planner. So it, I imagine it'd be the same for a Filofax and also, uh, now the name escapes me, the planner's that size, that personal size planner. So for this you need obviously 12 sheets all together of card. Um, I've done three different colours for um, the months to, to break it up. And then you want to use your envelope punch board and then we're going to go in at um, two and a quarter and we're going to punch that down and then we're going to slide back again and going in at the halfway point I'm just going to zoom you in in there and this is just going to round off that tab to make that shape okay and you want two of these because you want one for the top end and then you're going to want one for the bottom end So those are your two end ones. Now I'm going to show you how to do the middle. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do the middle section. So you want to line it up again at the two and a quarter mark, but then keep sliding across until you reach the four and a quarter mark. And then you have that middle section there. Now, just be careful where you are cutting away your um, scrap card. So I'm just going to zoom in and you want that little valley bit there to sit just in that crease. I don't, hopefully you can pick that up on the camera and we're going to go from that crease downwards like that and that creates your tab. Now remember that's the top one and then you want your middle one, so again just lining it up just before that, that cutting slot there and there and then with this one is your end tab, so we're going to go from, oops, oops if I use the trimmer there you go. And there you should be able to have your three files, tab files, ready to go in your planner. Okay, now I have purchased myself one of these, which is a six hole punch, which um, they are available from Amazon and eBay, and I'm sure all good stationers. So this will cut about um, two cards in one go. Now, in order to be able to line this up to the centre of my punch, I created myself a template. So this um, plastic came in with the Filofax, but you can make your own, um, or you can get a piece of paper and fold it in half and find where the middle is. So I use this as a guide, and not tucking it right against the holes, but pulling it out on either end and holding that firmly, and then Oops, she says, I'm slipping it about. I went out a bit too far. Okay, holding that firmly and then pushing that all into your punch and then you can line up the middle with that line. Now, make sure you stand up to do this. So if you're hovering over your work, you can get a good idea of where you're supposed to be punching. And that will fit perfectly into your 
file and just Now I have used some retired product to stamp out the months but you can use whatever stamps that you want to decorate it. I've just kept it plain with some uh, with two stamp sets with Crafting Forever and the Butterfly Gala stamp set and that's what I'll do to those last ones. So each one is just slightly different using those two stamp sets. So do um, comment below if you've got any questions particularly, I'll try my best to answer them. Um, do give me a thumbs up if you've, been li if you've liked the video, subscribe to my channel for more and um, hopefully I'll see you around. Thank you very much for watching, bye.